Spooky High School, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then, we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Yeah, you're first. You're oh. player one. Oh, oh, dang. <laughs> who are you going to pick? Who are you going to pick? Um, I'm going to pick this hot mama right here. Oh, damn. All right. <laughs> <laughs> She's always my go-to. No, it's fine. I, no, it's fine. Go for it. No. no, it's all good. Pick her. Pick her. It's fine. Go for it. Take her. All right. Well, then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to name her Michaela. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. Put on she, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, she, yeah. Let's do this! Alright, then I guess I'll pick this cutie pie, and I'll name her Jess. <laughs> oh my! So we're just playing each other now? Yes. Is that how this turned out? We are matchmaking for each other now. <laughs> that is how it's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Alrighty. And also, thank you so much, husband, for getting us with a raid! Alright, your move. Okay. And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Huzzah! Miranda Valdebrelt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was cute as she was genocidal. Good! Damien LeVay, 21, a fearless demon with a, with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Howell, 21, a werewolf athlete who was voiced by Aaron Hansen for his rather small bra- I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> I mean he is! I mean he is! <laughs> Let's be real here. I wanted, I wanted to throw that in there just because I know it is, but I was- I kept reading and I realized how bad that sounds. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> who was uh. compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly large heart. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Deline Court, who was voiced by Cryonic, a hipster vampire, <laughs> set up to be a hint that he was truly a lovable dork. <laughs> this is getting scarily relatable. <laughs> oh, that moment when. Go for it. Polly, guys, 22, a party goes with insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. What? And Vera Oberlin, 23, a mean, self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. It was clear. It had to be one of them. But who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date. And even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Look at us, man, being cool and all that shit. <laughs> right? Teen Wolf. Welcome to Monster Prime stupidest pop quiz ever! All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more. We are now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose what kind of deviant sicko you are. Monster Prime stupidest pop quiz ever will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start! Oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go for it. Oh, you get the chance to produce a movie. It's based on two cool guys walking away from explosions. They don't look at the explosions. They don't go fuck about the explosions. They reflect on life and love, but it's super dope and kick-ass because they do so by walking away from never-ending explosion. <laughs> 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 Something about superheroes with a love triangle between a beautiful yet somewhat relatable girl. Maybe she's always starting stating she's a mess. Superheroes, <laughs> <laughs> but you're also like vampires or pirates or both. Instant hit. The most influential Russian novelist of the of the. Oh God, I I don't know my Roman numerals that well of that century. Yeah. I've gone nuts. And they don't remember anything about the last night. Now they can't find the manuscript of the. You know what? I'm gonna go with the, something about the superheroes, the love triangle between a beautiful yet relatable girl. <laughs> Let's see. Um, <laughs> that's uh, let's uh, let's go with Russian novelists. Look at that, so fun, oh. eh? You're so you're so wealthy. Oh. <laughs> All right. Nice. All right, you build a hundred. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Oh, you build a hundred foot statue commemorating an event that in a hundred years archaeologists can learn something about the people of our time. What does the statue represent? Let's see, that glorious instant when your friend stopped you from texting embarrassing stuff to your ex while hella drunk. That mind blowing. <laughs> that's, see, I've done that shit. I've helped friends. Let's see. That mind blowing twist in your favorite TV show that clearly changed the life of everyone forever, unlike all that boring stuff they show on the news. And your least favorite political figure being devoured by a rabbit rhinoceri, which are also covered in badass tattoos. Oh, God. I'm gonna go with the, the rhinoceri. 
Um, I'm gonna go with a mind-blowing twist. Look at that. Look at us being cool. <laughs> what would be your what dream? Would be a go dream? Ahead. Uh, we can just. Oh, oh. No, it's all good. Thinking. Yeah. What would be your dream first date? Oh man, there's a lot. Oh wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what? Crimes. You know what? An arcs expedition experimental enough to give me a seizure. Let's go for it. Hey, Liam. <laughs> You're going for Damien. I see. The, I was thinking you were gonna go for Scott. The chat completely thought you were gonna guess you were gonna go for Damien. I no. I'm I'm going for Damien. Let's I, do I, this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I can't help myself. So you haven't played this game before, correct? No, I've never played it. Okay, so and all of these places that you can go to essentially build up one of your stats, and they build it up by two. So you have like the tree, which brings up your fun, the gym, which brings up your charm, and all that stuff. So you can, if you go, if you move your mouse to the right side of the screen where our stats are, you'll be able to see kind of what it, um, stats each building has. Oh, I see. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. So do I have to choose where we go? Uh, no, you get to choose where you go. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna go here. All right, go for it. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Hell yeah. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. <laughs> you, give, you give two shits, but you again gain two boldness. Hey, look at you, man. You see Damien and Miranda with their heads in their hands. Oh, sorry. You, it's your turn. No, go sorry. for it. No, go for it. You, you, you read your stuff, girl. Oh, they look glum. You ask them what's up. Ugh, we're boned. <laughs> I don't know what this boned means, but I'm not optimistic about our chances on the upcoming exam. <sighs> you should be Damien. It's not fair! I shouldn't have to fail these tests because I spent all week in a really brutal mosh pit instead of going to class. And I did study! I had my servants read the entire textbook twice! Uh, disgraceful. But for some reason, my servants are not allowed to take the test for me. Well, there's only one thing left to do. Chop up the teacher and melt his body into acid. No! There's got to be another way! Doesn't there? <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh, burn down the entire school. Easy lobby. I don't know about the government. I'm going to burn down the school. <laughs> Shit, yeah, finally a good excuse to do it. I was probably going to do it eventually anyway. <laughs> I'm not sure it's actually a good excuse. But it's too late. Damien is already running through the halls with gallons of gasoline soaking everything. <laughs> Damien out of lead of school handcuffs for the third time this week. He gives you a smile and a wink. <laughs> ha, suckers! They can't make me take a test if I'm in jail. I win again! <laughs> Jesus. Damien's happy. And only a small portion of the school burned down, so it looks like everybody wins. You gain two, what, plus two fun and one plus boldness. Oh, let's go. Good shit. Awesome sauce. Let's see. Um, since I'm going for Liam, I think I'm going to go to class for a little bit. Uh, mm, no, I'm actually going to go to the auditorium. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you figurative oral sex. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain plus your creativity. <laughs> I mean, not gonna lie, I mean, I completely agree with this. <laughs> oh my god! Against the expected, you spot Scott and Liam engaged in what seems to be an intense conversation. They seem so into it that you can't resist the urge to ask them what's going on. We're discussing this recent novel, Two Lights. You should totally be Scott. <laughs> it, it isn't a novel, it's a rad movie with lots of cool dudes with amazing abs. Well, it's actually based on a novel, and it's anything but rad. It's cultural trash. How ironic. But I decided to like it, ironically. The thing is, there's this human girl with two guys who like her. Yeah. But the guys are a part of two enemy human races! The wild, shirtless humans and the mysterious, deep-looking, giving human. <laughs> it seems these type of humans can't stand each other. <laughs> oh, and the deep-looking humans get the shine and the sun. Oh, God. <laughs> you know where uh, this is going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you know that it's actually a lesser-known trait of some humans? Thing is, the next movie will be released soon, and we're super hyped. <sighs> Ironically. I can't wait, bro! We just <laughs> take a hunger for two lights. This is your opportunity to show these two you're well-versed when it comes to satiating urges. Go for it. Um, we should write a nuanced play based on it. It's totally not fanfic. So authentic. Oh, I see it. 
a nuanced patiche involving the characters of two lights, throwing a new light over their fears and desires. <laughs> and over the abs. <sighs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> With an unexpected twist that will elevate the strengths of the original over there. Something subtle yet powerful. Something like <laughs> the rival humans ditching the girl and fucking each other's brains out. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It's artistic. <laughs> Because of reasons. Touchdown! <laughs> I like the right new, that means more muscles and stuff. I like that. <laughs> sure, it sounds like a lot of high form art, but nothing like a thirsty fanfic. You're some kind of promoter of the arts. You gave plus your creativity plus what's parts. I'll take it! <laughs> Alright, let's trade places. Um, okay, do you want to challenge me to something or do you want to just do random? Uh, uh, you, you pick, because I, I don't know what it mean. All right, let's do random for right now, because challenge, we can get into arguments. So let's oh, go random. Yeah, okay. let's go random. Okay. Uh, you, you have to choose it. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <coughs> Woo! All right, that's the order. Oh. All right, well, now we go to lunch. Let's go. Oh, this is cool. I like how they do this. it. Yeah. All right, where are you going to sit? Uh, over here. <laughs> I mean, fair. <laughs> As usual, Miranda sits before her immaculate array of careful arranged silverware. Damien is predictably is examining his biggest knife. So this one is for killing people, right? Uh, Disgrace! Good heavens, no! This is the butter dagger. It would be unseemly to use it on me. So what then? Am I supposed to use this scrawny-looking knife to kill a dude? No, no, no. If you simply must kill someone mid-meal, it is customary to use a fish knife. This is Merfolk Court Silver, after all. That tiny thing? I might as well wait for my victim to die of old age. That's usually how it's done in my kingdom, yes. That or poison. This is ridiculous. Yo, you there. Which knife would you use to kill a guy? And don't say the fish knife. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> a, 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 he doesn't want me to- I have to do what Senpai says! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> that is so much more metal! Why did I think of that? That's so much- <laughs> I guess, when the only tool you have is a knife, every problem looks like a problem you could stab with a knife! Thank you for opening my eyes to a world of silverware-related murder! <laughs> oh, which spoon? This is very important! Do you mean the teaspoon or the dessert spoon or perhaps the caviar spoon? No, no, no. None are appropriate. Well, what about this spoon here, the one with the jagged edges on it? Oh, you mean the murder spoon? Of course not. That's for hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie cannot stop fully, but pockets the spoon. Miranda's not looking. Looks like the school's about to get a lot messier. Let's oh, go. boy. Um, I'm going to avoid Liam for now. I'm going to go to the cat girl real quick. Give me your money. Hey, give me your money. I got you. I got you some money. Um, I need to bring out my smarts. So I need to read this Russian novel of insightful approach to the universal matters. This is love and death. Later, Thank you. Wow. <laughs> All right. Random. Let's go. Uh, random. All right. I go first this time. Ooh. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. Week two, even week one, evening. All right. Let's go. All right, just so you know, on the side here, it'll tell, it'll tell you where the cat is. If you go to that place, um, instead of doing, like, the event where you get to meet someone, you get to bring your points with them, you'll see the cat and you get to spend money. Ooh, oh, cool. Yeah, so basically it's a trade-off instead. Let's see. So where do I want to go? I'm good? Money. Um, you earn money by going to the library, if you want. Um, you get, like, two money per round. Um, oh, okay. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so let's see. Um, I'm actually... <sighs> My stats are pretty high, so I'm gonna bring up my other stats. Let's, uh, let's go bring up my charm a little bit. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. You gain plus two charm. I'll take it. Let's Ooh. see. Later that night, you're out bar hopping with the two hippest monsters you know, Liam and Polly. The evening comes to a grinding halt when you're denied admission into Club Club, thus named for the giant club carrying b carried by the bouncer, <laughs> who is currently denying you entry. How unsatisfactory. My modus operandi is to be the instigator of exclusivity, not the victim of it. <laughs> totally. Don't worry. I got this. You want me to do her? Yeah, go her. Yeah. Right. I mm -hmm. got this. Hey there, handsome. Interested in some hot ghoul on ghoul action? The bouncer snorts. I can see right through you, Casparino. Move along. Ugh, who does this douchebag think he is, keeping us out of the club like that? It's his job or something? Both Polly and Liam look at you expectantly. Now is your chance to save the night. 
uh, instead of revolution, the proletariat <laughs> is it, oh, well own the means of inebriation or start a, a naked party? Um, instead of revolution, let's go! You turn the nearby trash can upside down and use it as your podium. You talk of justice, you talk of revolution, you talk of affordable bottle service! Tears fill everyone's eyes, especially Liam's. On your signal, the waiting crowd rushes Club Club! The Bouncers Club is no match for the will of the people! <laughs> Nice going! Bear Pack, can I steal the nice vodka while the bartender is still on fire? <laughs> was that... Was that Sergei Tolskovsky's rallying speech from Benny and Roscago Goblina? It was! Uh -huh. who, knew, <laughs> who knew that the 17th century Russian goblin literature elective would get you street cred? Looks like you're storming your way into Liam's heart. You get plus two smarts and plus one charm. I'll take it! Let's do this! <laughs> uh, oh, 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 where do I go? Oh my gosh. Uh... Uh, I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go back here. You know, I just, I just like it back here. That All day right. you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you know respect no authority again. Yep. While in the bathrooms, you tell yourself in the mirror, you're so bold you would kill a tiny bug-eyed turtle with your bare hands. That monstrous act would instantly give you 500 plus boldness. Dang. But come on, you're just talking to yourself in the mirror. What's with the mirror in that? You know what? You can keep two boldness anyway for saying that to yourself out loud. Hey. As you enter the bathroom, you notice that there's something a little different about it. Specifically, the difference is that mm, it's on fire! Oh man, can you believe it? The bathroom is randomly caught on fire for no reason! On the wall, you notice graffiti reading Scott is more swole than Damien Five ever. But surely, this is unrelated. S Shit, dude, I can't get detention again. I have an urgent appointment with someone. And by that, I mean if my fists have an urgent appointment with their face. And if my fists can't make that appointment... Damien cracks his knuckles. Better think of a way to save him. Uh, call Scott and have him be it out. Oh my god. Oh, you burned down the whole school. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I don't want to call Scott. I'll ruin the moment. So you're saying I should fight fire with fire? It's so simple. Anytime I have a problem, all I have to do is set it on fire. <laughs> and if that fire causes any new problems, I can just set those problems on fire. <laughs> it works in every situation. I can't believe I never thought of this before. Damien doesn't get around to settling the whole school. Damien doesn't even get around to setting the whole school on fire. He's too busy writing his self-help book. Fighting fire with fire, a full poop grind to a mental success in all situations. <laughs> it sells a million copies. Damien is a prophet to the end of that game. <laughs> Damn, man, what the hell? You got money. Ooh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, no, something happened to me. Oh, no. Why? Why is it gonna happen to me? You're practicing your moves against visible ninjas who are totally real and totally after you when you spy a much more visible threat. Yo, fuck hammer, I need your advice about something. Do you know what the most powerful force on Earth is? Stronger than anvils or swords or my nine-pack abs? It's love, and I think I just might be in it with your buddy, Michaela. <laughs> And sure, love is already hard. <laughs> I love just the slamming of things. It's great. <laughs> he likes me! <laughs> and sure, love is already hardcore because of the feelings are so strong and that's badass. But the love will be doubly as strong and badass if it turns out that Michaela is as hardcore as I think she is. And of course, there's only one way to judge a true person's soul, a person's true soul. You know her pretty well. What do you know? Like, what do you know? What her, hey, do you know what her inner murder weapon would be? Um, duh, of course you do. By that, by which you mean you're happy to totally make it up on the spot. <coughs> so here's the time to decide Michaela's fate. Fun, right? Don't be a dick. Unless you want it to, in case, go for it. Um, major cardiovascular disease or an electric chair? No, major cardiovascular diseases. Michaela is the ultimate murderer, the leading cause of death worldwide, and sometimes capable of catching up to tough motherfuckers who have survived everything else. Damn. <laughs> I wouldn't have even thought of that. If major cardiovascular diseases were a knife, they'd be the sharpest and deadliest knife ever. If they were a sword, they could be two katanas. If they were a gun, they could be an atomic bomb. Wow, a cardiovascular disease was raging in Michaela this entire time. <laughs> and, I never, and, I, and I never even knew it. Well, that's confusingly worded, but to say the least. But luckily, since you're the one who started this metaphor, you know that Michaela isn't likely to die. Unless they're dying to go to prom with Damien, in which case, BAM! You're welcome, Michaela! <laughs> I'm Michaela! <laughs> and you can plus three this yourself! I'll take it, fuck it! <laughs> Let's trade places, random! Good job, good job. <laughs> oh, I love it! I love it so fucking much! 
This is so great. He likes me. Michaela, he likes me. Who's Michaela? Oh, Which doesn't make any sense because it's like we're playing each other now. <laughs> it's great. Um, so let's see. My smarts is up. My boldness is up. My creativity. Uh, let's go have some more charm. Why not? That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. One point, you're about to be eliminated by a player from the other team. But suddenly, you convince him not to throw the ball at you with a heartfelt speech about the importance of everyone's lives. The player bursts into tears, and you take advantage of the moment of weakness throwing a ball at him. You lose five mercy. A stat might be useful in Monster Bomb sequel, but it isn't now. And you gain plus two charm. <laughs> But Liam isn't paying attention to any of that. He corners you afterwards, selects you on Instagram filters. What no one seems to understand about filters is that they're not about making pictures better. They're about making pictures browner and harder to see. That's why I use my own propriety filter for, um, for almost all my photos. Infinite top. That's also probably why I only have six Instagram followers. Which, but we all must make sacrifices for our art. In any case, I have to go. There's a dead rat in the parking lot. I simply must document. As soon Your as man Liam, is hot. My man is... Mm, as soon as Liam's gone, Miranda peeks out of the air, conditioning duct. That's you, man. The situation is even more dire than I thought. Sorry, I had to get my oh. phone real quick. Ah! Because someone was messaging okay. me. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, did you say the thing? Over it. All right. Oh, all right. Uh oh. No if Operation Make Liam Popular get us to succeed, we must get started immediately! What's that? Why, yes, of course you're part of my operation. I unwillingly force people into my service all the time. Oh, you want to know why it's called Operation Make Liam Popular again? Well, he's been alive for like centuries, right? I'm sure he must have been popular at some point. I'll check the history books later. There's no time now. Phase one of getting Liam and more Instagram followers. Dang, man. Red is desperate. <laughs> I took the liberty of having the royal spies discover the password to his account so we can give it a total makeover. But what to do? Hmm. Use his account <laughs> to post a bunch of porn and bomb recipes or pay a million homeless people to follow Liam on Instagram. What? Um, I think I, I'm just gonna use his account to post a bunch of porn because why not? That's what I would do. <laughs> porn. <laughs> Miranda, you sweet, innocent summer child. Never mind. If you suggested it, it must be something very classy and suitable. <laughs> <laughs> I shall put you in charge of curation. Point away, comrade! You know I'm gonna put lemon stealing whores somewhere in there. <laughs> <laughs> you turn Liam's account into Instagram's number one resource for weird dicks and domestic terrorism. Shockingly, this turns out fine. There you are. I wanted to share this great news. I'm Instagram infamous. Apparently, my filter game is so edgy that the backwards administration decided to close my account. But not before I amassed over 3 million followers. They're all following me on my new website. <laughs> Hotly and paste <laughs> Oh my god! I, I can't, I can't. Of course, I'm utterly devastated that my work has finally become mainstream. This, yes, this is the worst, and I'm not at all happy or excited about it. Anyway, I had to go take pictures of my lunch. My fans are awaiting. You're not sure they're waiting for what Liam thinks they're waiting for, but whatever works right, you gain two creativity and plus one charm. I'll take Let's it. Let's do this! <laughs> Your move! It's me! I'm going back here because I know where he at. <laughs> Yeah. That's why you visit the bathroom because you're desperate for Damien. Don't worry. <laughs> you better be an illustration of that specific moment. Thing is, if you make the boldest decisions of your life, you don't put paper on the toilet seat before using it. Oh, whoa, Look ah! You. <laughs> Look at you, crazy bastard. You gave plus two boldness and probably one sh Wow, I don't even know what that word is. Staphylococcus. 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 Oh, whatever that is. With a slight chance of- Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You see Damien about to punch some noob when suddenly a dimensional portal opens up between the two of them. No. Hey, what the hell? I was about to punch that noob! There will be plenty of noobs to punch, my fearsome Pamwa, when you are mine. What? <laughs> I have traveled across time and space to find a fit commander for my armies and for my bed. Oh no! This Get bitch! Away from my men! This bitch! <laughs> oh, you want me to come over to your kingdom so we can kill people and fuck? I wouldn't put it quite so crassly. Fucking well, metal. I would. And that sounds doper than hell, which isn't hard because hell is lame, but still. But if Damien goes to another dimension to fucking kill people, how is he gonna fucking kill them with you? There's only one thing to do! Uh, so, oh my god. Ooh, you know you gotta defeat the army. Uh, yeah, that. <laughs> I'm gonna do a command. command <laughs> you're great, but you charge through the rift. The prince's army turns out to be just three dudes. 
And one of those dudes is just two toddlers in a trench coat. <laughs> you straight the shit out of them and squeeze a grapefruit juice over their wounds and toss what's left into a volcano. Jesus! The more, what's more, you live stream the entire thing for Damien to watch back home. When you get back, you're plotting. Holy shit, that was wicked! I've never seen someone be so gratuitous with a grapefruit! Screw this interdimensional asshole! I want you to teach me how to use limes as an offensive weapon! The prince sinks back into his kingdom to recruit a new <laughs> shitty army while you kill Damien the series of citrus fruit and you gain plus two charm and one boldness. Ha! I love it! Bye! Oh my god, Bye, Man. Felicia! Bye, Felicia! Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, seriously! Oh my god. Alright, random, let's go! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you, you gotta be the one to choose because you're hosting. Alright, you're first! Okay! And lunchtime! What's for lunch? Oh, Let's no. do this. Uh, 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 uh I'm, I'm, so, I'm gonna go sit over here. Go for it. You find Scott and Damien immersed in their favorite mobile game, Pokemans. <laughs> <laughs> Based on the classic Pokemon humans. <laughs> My original boss worth uses income income tax audit. Oh no, my Lindsay Roberts never saves receipts, and it's super effective. <laughs> and now for the finishing blow. The wait, what? Reginald contracted lymphoma! Reginald's lymphoma deals 500 physical damage to him and 999 emotional damage to him and his loved ones? Woo! I win again! Why are your Pokemon so unhealthy, Damon? Because I make them all smoke cigarettes and live next to toxic waste dumps, obviously. Maybe you should stop that. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Let's have another match! Uh, uh do you want to do it under me? Uh, uh, I'll go ahead and do it. Alright. What are you? <clears throat> what are you two nerds doing, nerding around? Nerd up, nerds. Well, Scott, is that you? I didn't recognize you under all that nerdity. What are you doing, playing a dumb video game for stupid babies? But Pokemon isn't dumb at all. It's cool because because no way Scott's gonna come up with anything. <laughs> but if you do, maybe you can score some point with Scott or Damien. <laughs> uh, well, I. Oh. <laughs> God, I don't want to be mean to Scott. No, I think, I think you're, pelting, you're pelting the uh, wolf pack. You're not pelting Scott. Oh. Ah, oh, vegetables! <laughs> I <laughs> don't stop! Seriously, pelts with ground beef or something, or at least some sausages or pig's ears. Have some forks and knives. <laughs> or some knives and knives. <laughs> I'm just going to keep throwing knives. <laughs> oh, these knives are almost as bad as the vegetables! Yes, come on, stop doing carrots and knives at my cousins! <laughs> stop, alright, but as soon as the wolf pack have retreated out of range. Nice thinking. Finally, a use for vegetables, am I right? <laughs> Jamie barely remembers to take off the knife off his hand before you high fiving you. He does it though, so that's a win. Hey, oh, there we go! <laughs> I wanna see you get your anger! Let's see here. I'm actually gonna avoid Liam for a little bit. I'm gonna go visit the interdimensional prince. Oh! You're just about to take a bite of your sandwich when some douchebag rips a hole in the fabric of reality. Greetings, my love. Go for it. It is I. <clears throat> it is I, the interdimensional prince. I have searched far and wide for a hero capable of solving a most fiendish riddle for me. To the riddle of... How to get my TV to switch from HDMI <laughs> 1 to HDMI 2. I've tried everything, sort of actually using the remote control. You heave a deep sigh and accompany the prince to his dimension where you solve his problem by using the remote control. <laughs> you truly are a wise and generous. As a thank you, please allow me to teach you one of my kingdom's customary rituals. Perhaps laser communication might interest you? Or reverse baptism? Or eggs? The choice is yours. Let's see. Fuck that. Let's make up our own ritual. Or how about a ritual where you just give me a pile of money and go away? <laughs> um, uh, fuck that. Let's make up our own ritual. Ah, oh, we have a ritual for the ritual of making up rituals, which is why we have so many dumb and bad rituals. <laughs> First, we get incredibly high on our interdimensional weed. Sounds fun. Then we pretty much do whatever we want and then make it illegal for people to do not to do that thing once a year. Sounds fair. What? <laughs> Sounds good to you. You guys get ripped and invented a holiday called Shrimp Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas, but everyone gets stockings full of shrimp delivered by a giant shrimp. It becomes so popular that it leaks over into your dimension where it replaces actual Christmas. <laughs> you gain plus more creativity. I'll take it. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see. Uh, oh, Alright. Yep. Oh. 
All right, uh, I'm first. first. All righty. I wonder if people are confused that are coming in. Like, who's who now? <laughs> yeah, <it's all> right. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So my stats are pretty high. Um, I think I'm gonna go have some fun. I'm gonna have some fun. I have to stop for that rave beat. Like, I always gotta rave for that beat. That's no, a... no, no, I feel you. <laughs> that day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people, like there are in the stream right now. Some when someone's oh, wow. a demon from a nightmare dimension, the consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. You gain plus two fun. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards, Miranda's beckons you from a dark corner. Coconut Spiriter, over here. Phase one of Operation Make Liam Popular Again was an overwhelming success. Liam is internet popular. Now, we just need to make him real life popular. Huh, all right. And what better way than by making him prom king? Oh, dear. <laughs> Unfortunately, when I asked him to run for prom king, he said, and I quote, Never, 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 not in a thousand years. And that's not an exaggeration, because I've been alive for a thousand years, and I've never run for prom king, so there you go. Huh. Which clearly is a cryptic way of saying he wants us to make him prom king! Absolutely, Miranda, you sweet, innocent summer child. <laughs> <laughs> My first thought was to murder the current prom king after establishing Liam as his rightful heir, but I couldn't find any bloodline charge to work from. So I suppose we must engage in this democratic election the school is holding. Hmm. Now, how can we secure a win from Liam when he is opposed to running to making any effort to win? Let's see, I'll dress up as Liam and give the best campaign speech anyone has ever given, <laughs> or pay over a million people. I'm dressing up. Of course, cosplay! Yes! <laughs> That's a great idea! You look just like him! Are we sure about this, sweetie? Are, are, are we sure? <laughs> you squeeze into some skinny jeans and suspenders, a lot of purple paint, and a sense of smug superiority, and gather a crowd of people in the auditorium. <laughs> Ladies and gentle monsters, you say, for too long our school has been ruled by prom kings who care about things. Caring about things. <laughs> I can't even read the sentence. Caring about things makes you weak. Because what if you care about the wrong things? I, Liam DeLioncourt, will never be wrong because I don't care about anything. I don't care about my dumb clothes or my stupid man pun or any of you. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even care if I win. If I don't, I'll just blow up the school with a hydrogen bomb I buried under the cafeteria. <laughs> oh my Jeez. god! You walk off the stage to thunderous, terrified applause. You don't know whether it was to the speech or the threat of extinction, but Liam wins by a landslide. Drats and curses. Rumor says I will be elected prom king in spite of my sincerest wishes. How horrible to have the love of the entire student body showered upon me. The cold, oh no. <laughs> the cold blackness of my soul, which has so long sheltered me from my true emotions. Gah! It's thawing! This is terrible, and I'm in no way enjoying it. Your face is telling me otherwise, Liam. That blush, yeah, that blush is otherwise. <laughs> Still, I should... Probably pick out a tuxedo. You know, so as to not appear ungracious. You're happy to help Liam pick out a tuxedo. You even help measure his body in multiple ways. You get plus two fun and plus one creativity. <laughs> I'll take it. Let's do this. Yeah, move. Hey. All right, you know what? I'm going to go party too. Why not? I you, can't go party. Yeah, you can't go party. But you can bring up your other stats. Um, oh, you can also uh, go to visit oh. the cat and get some items. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, she's at the gym um, right now. She's in the gym? Yeah. Okay, gym. I'm going there. Hey, stranger. What's going to be today? All right. Um, right. I'm going to take the... You should get the glasses. You should totally get the glasses. Okay. You know what? I I'm going to trust you. I'm gonna What about the knife? But oh, that, that brings up your boldness, like, by a million. Right, I'm going gonna... to trust you. I'm trusting you. You got I this. Got the glasses. Yeah! All right. That weekend. That weekend. Oh, no. Ah, oh, shit. Uh -oh. <laughs> what happened to me? Let's do this. What happened, what happened to you, you then? You were grooming yourself in the bathroom when you suddenly Liam reveals himself to you <clears throat> in your shower. Huh? What? How, how long has he been in there? Don't vampires need to be invited to houses or something? So many questions. Ah, Michaela, I noticed you in class the other day, admiring my collection of highly used vintage bottle cap sex toys. What? <laughs> Is that what those were? Like, admiring was a strong word before, but now? I'm sure you've noticed that I have many strange and amazing hobbies, such as the- like, such uh, that the average civilian could never hope to take on for sheer lack of creative talent. Trading fine insect legs, bottling peak toxic waste and turn, turn into fine wines, generally being part of DIM culture, <laughs> do it myself, obviously, 
Surely one of the greatest joys of embarking on a great romance is getting to share your obscure hobbies with one another. And I've been giving some thought of embarking on such a great romance. It's just, I'll take it. He can go after you. I take it. He interesting, girl. But tell me, what of her hobbies? Will she have some great knowledge to share with me? Oh, oh, oh. Top one, top one, top one, top one. I know it. I know it. I totally know aquatics. <laughs> Exotic aquatics. <laughs> I totally know about aquatics. You're thirsty. <laughs> Man, okay. Here's the secret about me. I love me some vampire boys. I love me some vampire boys. <laughs> Exotic aquatics. <Yeah. laughs> Why, I read that every month. Oh. I got in my prized tur um, turquoise tang, Trixie, through a tunnel maze based on those teachings. I had no idea it was Jess who was responsible for that. Ooh. Truly, I cannot wait to hear more about her exotic aquatic prowess. <laughs> Perhaps at prom. <gasps> Woo! Oh. Man, you sure hope you know that Jess actually knows her shit about fish. <laughs> you say so many ridiculous things that you cannot for the life of you keep track of what is true and which are lies. I totally know my aquatics. It's all good. You, uh, look, fish sticks don't count, okay? <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine. God damn it. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing for me. Like, I know fish sticks and goldfish. That's um, all I know. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you gain plus three creativity. Nice, good shit. All right. Random. Oh. All right, you're oh, first. No. It's all good. Oh, yay. Yay? No? Yeah, yeah. Only three days until prom! All right, we don't, we cannot fuck this up. We it. cannot fuck this up. <laughs> all right. All right, so where do you want to go? Give me your money. Oh, oh we can buy another thing. Uh, I'll buy, I'll buy this, uh, I'll buy this See you later. Damn, 20 volt, what the hell? <laughs> oh go. my God. All right. Oh, it's my turn. Fuck. Because <laughs> I was also looking at the chat. Is something wrong with the? Um, uh, is something wrong with the volume? I have no like I. Uh, hold on. Is something wrong with the volume, guys? I can bring Jess up a little bit. Mm. All right. Uh, that should be fine. All right. I brought you up, so you, you should, we should be fine now. All right. Awesome. So let's see then. Uh, where do I want to go? And I'm gonna go to class like a good boy, girl. That day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity of high school. No, it's not. You <laughs> plus two smarts. Actually, it is. Don't listen to me, guys. <laughs> <coughs> I'm dying. Later you see Liam rolling his eyes at his phone. God damn it. You ask him what's up before he can even roll them right out of his head. I'm having trouble with my status on Facebook. I expressed a positive opinion about bug manicures, which I obviously meant ironically. And now my so-called friends are responding blatant, unironic pictures of themselves with centipedes glued to their nails. I know being aloof and misunderstood is my brand, but I want to be misunderstood on my terms, not theirs. What kind of status? <laughs> what kind of status could I post that would be idiot-proof? A flat out post Nothing? that. <laughs> vague blog, vague blog for your life! Or flat out post that everyone currently reading this status is an idiot. Oh, oh. no. No, man. I, you, gotta, you gotta vague post that shit. You gotta vague post. Vague, uh, vague blogging is a sub, tricky proposition. Sub tweeting. <laughs> sub tweeting. Oh my god. Just like underlying tones. <laughs> it's like, oh man. Welcome <laughs> to Leon Daylight Court. But luckily, I'm a master of the blogging arts. <laughs> The trick is to reel people in with an intriguing premise, but make it absolutely clear they will never know what it is. Worst day ever. No, I don't want to talk about it. So sick of this, but I don't kiss and tell, or fight and tell. I'll do something like, it's all your fault, you know who you are, and then a high-heeled shoe emoji. <laughs> no, it could possibly- <laughs> Boy, your boy Michaela is I'm getting full of Oh, my boy is just mm. No one could possibly misinterpret that because there's nothing to misinterpret. Boom. Vague blogging is always the simple and most direct solution. You get plus to creativity plus one boldness. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's read places. Uh okay. Alright, I first. Ooh. I'll okay. take it. Hehehe. <laughs> Oh, like, is this lunch? Michaela EXE is stuff. Yeah, I'm dying. So leave it surely. Why is no one showing up on my screen? Do you no see? One show up on your screen? Yeah, no one showed up. Uh, who is on what table? Um. Okay, so you're going for lamb. Go up to the top right. This one? 
Right there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You take your seat next to the strongest and smartest men you know. Liam appears to be taking a very intense picture of some bizarre looking food, and Scott is looking about as confused as you are currently. Mm. Oh, sorry, that's me. It's all good. But Liam, food is delicious, it's for eating. That's what they call it lunchtime. Neither of those statements is wrong, but they also aren't quite connected. Scott, if I had the capacity to eat, I assure you, I would still ignore the actual content of the food in favor of finding the perfect combination for her flawless Instagram post. <laughs> oh, I see. You're going to post a picture to advertise the food to people who can actually eat it. You're so smart. <laughs> okay, Scott. I'll be happy to eat your food for you. Oh, boy. I'm afraid your palate is way too unsophisticated to appreciate these rare Japanese delicacies. Oh, oh, the Japanese? Do you have any Scott snacks? Uh, Scott snacks? Oh, you know what? Fine. I've taken all the pictures I need. Eat whatever you want. Thanks, Liam. Oh, they look so yummy. I don't know where to start. Jess, any ideas? Maybe your choice of snack can get one of these boys to want to snack on you. In an Whoa. innuendo way, not literally. <laughs> Um, obviously the lychee fruit flavored custard with a side of tofu and a drizzle of raspberry abstract is the most superior food on the plate. Oh, Jess, I always knew you were a monster of impeccable taste. Ooh. Actually, that isn't true. I assume everyone has horrible taste and is a useless aesthetic. But in this case, it's pretty clear that this assumption does not apply to your beautiful self. He likes you! <laughs> Did I say beautiful? I meant your aesthetic is beautiful. Because we have the same aesthetic. The lychee custard picture has already gotten more likes than any other food on this table. And it's absolutely delicious! <laughs> God damn it, Scott. How could the way it tastes possibly have any relevance to the conversation about food? Liam, you're so smart. I don't even understand how that makes any kind of sense. God damn it. <laughs> Thank you for being someone with whom I can actually discuss the importance and nuance of Japanese food pictures. It appears to be you and me against a very ignorant world. Yeah, stupid everyone else who are actually eating their food and not taking pictures. Thank goodness you and Liam have each other. XOXO. God damn it. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Your move. All right, I'm sitting right here. <laughs> you come upon Damien sneering at Miranda's elaborate silverware spread while eating her serfs and chow down obediently. <laughs> you scared me. Who is it? Jason's here. He just, hey. Jason, like, like he, he just left. Like, he just left like, grabbed my shoulder and scared me. <laughs> I still don't get why you collect all these stupid forks and spoons and shit. What a noob. I mean, even the knives don't even look that deadly. Silly boy, the silverware is not for killing. Things can be stuff other than killing? That's... Lame as hell! It's basically useless! I mean, you don't even eat! Your serfs do it for you! Well, of course they do. But they're not using any of your silverware. Naturally they aren't. Serfs must eat with their hands, as benefits the lower class. So you're saying this silverware collection has no practical purpose? Things have practical purposes? <sighs> These two could go around and around like this forever, unless you say something to resolve the dispute. Damien is always right, Miranda. Like... Yes. Girl, Mariri, Mariri, you need to understand that Damien, look at him. That's right. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I was just giving her shit, but I'm in favor of any plan that gets more people murdered. Oh, how barbaric. Are you sure that's the right thing to do? Yep, 100%. Absolutely. <laughs> well, all right then. Yum, yum. Daisy, take the sharpest of the silverwares in your filthy peasant hands and go a-murdering, would you? I was kind of hoping you were doing the murdering yourself. If we are living in an age where a lady can't outsource her senseless murders to her servants, I don't know what the world is coming to. Fair enough. As long as the murders get done, I guess I don't care. <laughs> Miranda even outsources some silverware to murder you and Damien as a team. It really brings you closer to each other. Very nice. <laughs> you and Damien forever. And you and Liam, girl, you got this. Yeah. Got this, and last round, last round, let's go. Oh, this is the last one. Oh my gosh. Yep. Prom's right around the corner, man. Don't fuck this up. Let's oh, do this. I don't want to. All right. For those wondering, I am, my character is named Michaela, and Michaela's character is, is Jess. And yes. It's just this weird. Go have some fun. <laughs> you know you want to go rave. Yeah. You want to go rave. I'm going to go rave. Oh! Woo! That, 
day during recess, you start half an hour rave that goes full crazy. Everything is fine until Juan and the small magical Latino cat asks you what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, we didn't remember you suck at dancing, but you decide to go all in and pretend it's a new dance move and apparently called the Groovy Moussaka. Juan <laughs> looks at you and he asks you to teach him the Groovy Moussaka. In no time at the party is following your steps and enjoying the Groovy Moussaka all together. It's a party to remember. You gain two plus fun and a cool story to tell about your grandkids someday. Hey! You're daydreaming about how Damien would look walking down the aisle towards you. When you see Damien walking down the aisle hallway towards you! Yo, so, listen, don't be a cool about this or make a big thing, uh, but, uh, I think you're pretty rad. Like, maybe even as rad as I am. So I thought it might be sweet if we could, Oh my you god! Know, do some crime together! What? Would you be into that? I mean, could you even fucking handle that? Yeah, uh, uh... <laughs> And you would, and you should. What kind of crime are you into these days? Prom? It's <laughs> <laughs> a romantic crime for an excellent date with Damien. Uh, arson. Uh, no. Oh, you gotta go with arson. Wait, wait, what? Tax fraud and light treason? Oh no, that's 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 Liam right there. Yeah, I know, uh, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that would be Liam. <laughs> arson Ar and arson? <laughs> oh, that's you. Sorry. It's all good. I'm arson excited. and arson. <laughs> like, what? Jessica said <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my kind of night. Damien picks you up and presents you with a bouquet of matches and lighters, which you blush and happily accept. Woo! He smiles demurely as Damien pulls out your chair for you and then sets it on fire. You're confidently order off the menu for both of you before setting both menus on fire. After a <laughs> delicious meal together, you flirtily squabble over whose absolute pleasure would be to pick up the check as the flames rage higher all around you. Ready to head out for... More arson! <laughs> Heck yeah, you are! Two you head to a movie and immediately setting your tickets on stubs on fire. You take the seats in the row above you and set that row on fire. You walk through the previews and the lips. You know, you just set everything on fire and you bathe the romantic glow. It's the it's literally the hottest date of all time in so, so many ways. Hey, I really had a nice time tonight. The only thing better than the arson was the more arson. <laughs> Dude, you went on a Actually, date before prom. <laughs> Or is he in the heat from all this arson? Oh my fucking god! This is dangerous. Dang, dang. <laughs> you so you went on a date before prom, pretty much guaranteeing your prom date. <laughs> That's awesome as hell. I'm gonna go to class. That day your teacher delivers an amazing and creative performance that blows all of your minds. It ends up being a sensation on YouTube. Your teacher gains plus ten coolness, but who cares? He's not trying to romance your classmates, or is he? We hope not. <laughs> oh, you also get plus six sweats. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> oh my god. With that out of the way, you hurry your way to secret meeting with Miranda. Oh god, Miranda, what do you want? Wow, majestic. Well done, co-conspirator. Operation Make Liam Popular Kid is a rousing success. <laughs> and for the record, I did discover that Liam was popular for a three-month period in the early 16th century, so thank this. Ooh! All that remains for us to do is to wait for prom and celebrate our... Your deception? <laughs> oh no, f Liam, I didn't do anything, it was all her idea, I swear! I oh my god! <laughs> I knew it was too good to be true. My idiosyncrasies are remarkable, but they aren't that remarkable. <laughs> this is all a cruel joke, wasn't it? A bet between two popular kids that they can make out... Uh, they can make an outcast loser into prom king. Well, guess what? The circus is over, and this clown is climbing his into his tiny car and going home. Along with, like, 12 other tiny clowns, if the metaphor holds. Which it doesn't. It was a bad metaphor. Goodbye! <laughs> <gasps> no, Liam, I wasn't trying to be mean. I don't have a mean bone in my body. I don't even have bone. Then how are you standing, child? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, how, yeah. Is, how is... Okay, you might check that affirmation later. <laughs> Oh, fish sticks, if you don't do something to fix this, fish sticks, hey. Hey. If you don't do something to fix this, all of our hard work and subterfuge will be all for naught. But how can we make amends? Surely not with some sort of outright romantic gesture defying all logic. You tell Miranda not to worry. You've seen plenty of teen rom coms. You know how this part goes. Oh, oh no. Pay a million people to smile. I'm sorry. You need a grand romantic gesture. <laughs> race to the airport to confess your feelings for Liam before you. Yes! I'm gonna race to that airport. I'm gonna catch up to him before he gets in that plane. Yo! Go! You do it! Wait. How did you know Liam was about to board a plane? Are you stuck? Yes. If you yes, are, you that's are. fine. <laughs> Isn't that what all romantic comedies ever have taught us to do? Anyway, oh, wow. I guess. You find Liam in the international terminal at Spooky Airport, waiting in line to board. 
You pass through the airport security by telling them that you're there for a romantic gesture. Because airport security might say no to terrorism, but they can't say no to love. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're too late. I'm going to Belarus, where my calculations have revealed that nobody likes me, and I can go back to being unpopular. Aww. You grasp Liam's cold, dead hand in yours, and with perfect sincerity, tell him what he means to you. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> don't you see, you say, looking deep into his eyes, you don't need to flee to Belarus to be unpopular, because you will always be unpopular in my heart, which is coincidentally about the same shape as Belarus. <laughs> How nice. I can't deal with this speech. I don't know what to say. Mainly because I don't know what you're talking about. But if I don't understand it, that must mean it's art. You said art to me. Oh, how could I ever dream of leaving you behind? Yes! All right. <laughs> if it makes you happy, I'll return to Spooky High and don that heavy crown crumb. Crown, uh, crown, uh, whatever. <laughs> but only because I know that no matter how unpopular I get, how, po how popular I get, there will always be one person who thinks I'm only so-so. <laughs> I guess that works. The people in the airport clap and cheer, clearly not understanding anything you two just said to each other. Liam accompanies you back to school and you gain plus two creativity and plus one smarts. Also, you should visit the hospital since your heart being the shape of Valaris can't mean anything good help wise. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I can't. Prom night. Prom -com? Uh, yeah, like I said prom com, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> so who are you asking out to prom? Oh, you know who I'm asking out the problem. Hey, noob. No you got question. This. You got this. Yes. All righty. Uh, Liam, darling. Oh, I will be your prom queen, prom king. Let's do this. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Come on. Prom with you? You dumb fuck. Yeah. That's a fucking great idea. <laughs> Are you some kind of genius or something? I'll tell you what you are. <laughs> my date to prom! <laughs> Yahoo! Is metal. Oh my god, I'm wearing a suit! <laughs> good shit, good shit! <laughs> go ahead, go ahead for it. You and Damien! You were- You got married! You have kids! <laughs> Me? <laughs> great! He stayed silent after that, and then he added, you know Wait. what? I s oh my god, you're going to- <laughs> Yeah, you did marry him, you went to hell with him. Oh, okay! Let's go! <laughs> I love how he just ad-libbed all of that, it's like, fuck it! It's just like, I'm going! Oh my god. So who could have foreseen this? Oh, oh, oh. Liam and Jess, prom royalty. We did! It was all our plan! We fought for love and loved one! And was popular again! Huzzah! Anyway... After all these years spent avoiding cliches, this doesn't feel as bad as I imagined. It's so authentic! Maybe doing a 180 degree turn from cliches is good. But embracing cliches is like making a 360 degree turn from them. <laughs> so disruptive. This guy! I just, I can't. <laughs> At that moment, Miranda becomes distracted by some other wacky plan and leaves you and Liam mumbling to himself. Oh, such a lovable dork. Prom night arrives and the two of you decide to embrace all cliches from slow dancing Aww. to actually having fun. God damn it, I will slow dance the fuck out of that man. Prom king? <gasps> How I oh. <laughs> oh, look at him! Oh, after the coronation, Liam admits he's having a great time, which is causing him to reflect on all the cliches he's avoided for all these years, which he can now embrace. Oh. Then he puts his hands over yours and says, And you know what the biggest cliche I've been avoiding is? Love. And I don't even care how cheesy that sounded. Boy, that was oh. cheesy, but you know what? You don't care either. <laughs> Woohoo! We did it! Yay! Wow. We did it! Oh my gosh! Wait, there's more school after this. <laughs> Most likely to be Ragzer, the space goddess of illusion disguise. Nice. You're a space oh, goddess wow. now. Wow. <laughs> that is cool. Hey, and this is the ending. So fun. Is it, this is the ending. Yep. Oh, oh, oh! I thought that was the ending. It's the ending, quote unquote. But then we always have the credits and all that stuff. Oh. Mm -hmm. You want to go? You have the. Yeah, I have it. Oh, it. oh, I can't. Mine is still loading, so I guess you can see it, but I can see it on your stream. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. Do you want to read what you see? Uh, yeah. After Monster Prom, we kept living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendships, and learning who we were and who we could be. And you know what? As it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. 
Aww. <laughs> I have a delay on the stream for me. Oh, it's all good. Liam and Scott co-wrote a cheesy and weird fanfic of two lights that became unexpectedly popular to the point that it turned out as a well-known novel as his own. Fuck yeah, man, let's go! Half of the characters <laughs> were shirtless for all the right reasons. <laughs> oh, of boy. Course. Damien loved fire. The end. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't a super legal affair, and he ended up in prison for arson. <laughs> well, there go my man. Unfortunately, prison was flammable. Hey, oh, so he escaped. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Miranda got a job at being princess of her kingdom. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow! Wow, Miranda! <laughs> Must be so hard! Yep. <laughs> Which was actually kind of her job already. Well, you surely don't see her complaining about it. Yeah, no. Yeah. She, 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 oh, 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 yeah. <coughs> During those three weeks, Monster Prom seemed bigger than life, and it was gone, just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were lots of battles left in that war called youth. Aren't there always? Like, yeah, I know, right? Once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. 